Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on my fuel barrels that I have all set up and I'm going to show you some things I did. Maybe it'll help you set up your fuel barrels in case uh, you decide to store fuel for whatever reason. Okay, so as you can tell, if I've stepped back, I have three barrels set up. One is diesel. Two of them are gas. I have them labeled so that way when they ever bring fuel out, they never get confused. Or if i taking fuel out, I never get confused what's in each barrel. The other thing for stands, most of my stuff that I purchased was used. Though I did buy the barrel on the end, I bought that one new. The stands are all used. So I painted them, obviously, and this stand here, I put a... I put a, f a floor in it, and then I took sides, put some sides on it, and these sides are off of a storage unit that uh, Rubbermaid or Suncast or whatever it was at the time I found. Someone threw it away, and it just so happens it was the same size as the fuel barrel stand. And I zip tie the sides to it, put a floor on it, like I said, painted everything, and that's where I keep my extra gas cans. And they don't blow away. And then I made these things to hold the hose. That way they're out of the way. You're not tripping over them. And also, too, you don't mow over them. You don't cut them up. You always want to have a fuel filter on there. And obviously a shutoff valve. And then this barrel was a little bit smaller. I got it used. The stand was for a bigger barrel, a 300-gallon. And I just used wood. And I built it in to cradle it. And then I took some scrap metal and... And bolted this and screwed it together to hold the, the barrel in place. Similar over here. Same setup. Hoses out of the way. And then this is a very nice stand here. The only problem is when I bought this, some stands didn't have a support in the center. And I took another stand and I had this welded in the middle for a support in the center. I went out and I bought those flag lights at Menards they're solar that way if I ever out here uh, just before dusk and I need gas I can see what I'm doing they're very nice also too for security reasons you can tell I have locks on all my handles and I bought those locks at Walmart the other thing I'd like to show you on this fuel tank here right here see this this is very important when you're putting the fuel tank on you either want to put rubber in there or you want to put plastic this is plastic that I got it's heavy duty plastic as you can tell here same thing and the reason you want to do that is because over time wind you have wind it'll make this barrel bounce on this stand when it gets close to empty and that friction over time will wear a hole in your barrel this will prevent that from happening that's very important a welder taught me that trick because he fixes quite a few of these fuel barrels all right and obviously it's the other thing i did i, I always put a strap around it and i strap the barrels down so i have less bounce in them i bought those uh, cam straps at harbor freight and they're vented properly, you can tell. And I got gauges on all of them, though the gauges don't work on some, but there's gauges on them all. The other thing too, that gauge up there, it's a very good gauge. That's a jarhead gauge. It's a high quality gauge. You do not want to buy those type of gauges, which are common, the plastic type, because over time, the fumes from the, from the gas to diesel deteriorate the plastic and then the gauge won't work or you'll the crack and you'll get water in it and you don't want that all right hopefully these tips help and maybe i'll get a ladder and climb up there and show you a detailed video just of that gauge up there all right thank you